This is KT Bradford with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we're going to take a look at Motorola's Smart Actions app, which came with the Droid Razor and with the recently released Droid Razor Max. We just reviewed the Droid Razor Max on Gotta Be Mobile, by the way, and you should definitely check it out. But if you have the Droid Razor or the Droid Razor Max, you probably know about the Smart Actions app. This is a really useful app. I wish it was on more Android phones because it just makes automating certain actions that happen every day super simple. And I'm just going to walk through how to do that and go through some of the ones that I set up so you can see what you can do basically. So here in the Smart Actions app, um, you know, you have, I have some that are already done, but let's just walk through making one because making a Smart Action is very easy. And I'm going to actually go ahead and make one from scratch, but we can also take a look at, you know, modifying an existing rule later. So the basics of smart, smart Actions is this. There are triggers and there are actions. So there's things that happen. Your phone changes state. It recognizes it's in a new location. It connects to a Wi-Fi network. Um, it becomes a certain time of the day. You know, there are lots of different triggers. And then there are actions. And actions happen, say, you know, at a certain time of day, this action will happen. You know, the brightness will go down, this app will launch, etc. And there are a lot of choices. So let's take a look at the triggers. So as you can see, lots of different triggers, mostly having to do with phone states, location, time frame, when it gets down to a certain battery level, missing calls, connected to the Wi-Fi, connected to Bluetooth, etc. And actions is an even longer list because um, there are so many things you can do. Play something, send a text message, you can launch apps. You can um, make the display timeout change for certain times of the day, turn on Bluetooth, turn off cellular data, put your phone in the airplane mode, etc. And then most of these have, you know, even more settings beyond that. So let's just go through setting up something really simple, like turning off all the data on your phone in the middle of the night because you're not really needing it when you're asleep. So the trigger is time frame. Now, Motorola has some time frames that are pre-set up in the app. I've added my own time frame, and I'm going to go ahead and walk through making a time frame. It's very simple. Basically, you can name your time frame. Let's name ours um, Dead of Night. Okay? And then start time, say 1 a.m. I might be up at 12, but 1, I'm definitely asleep. End time. I'm going to set this for 5.30, and that's because I usually wake up at 6 o'clock, and I want everything to be on and working for a while by the time I get up. And then you can either set it for all-day event, if you just want the time frame to be all day, um, and you can also set it for days of the week. So this is going to affect me most Sunday through Thursday night, because Friday nights I'm out late, Saturday nights, I'm out late. Okay, so we've set a new time frame. We've named it the dead of night, and now, here at the bottom, that's going to be one of our choices. Now, so in the middle of the night, we want to shut off all the cellular data on the phone. So we have a choice. We can either do airplane mode or cellular data. Now, what's really nice about Smart Actions is that you can add, you know, multiples of anything. So we're going to say airplane mode on. We can add multiple triggers, multiple actions. So I'm actually going to add two actions here. Aside from airplane mode, I'm going to add cellular data off. So airplane mode just basically shuts down all of the radios. And cellular data just shuts down the, the 4G or the 3G, but it leaves on, say, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. If I know that I want to shut down everything, say, Tonight is a night where I just want to be dead to the world. I don't want to get any calls. I don't want to get any text messages. I want nothing. Then I'll say, put it on airplane mode. And when you put it on airplane mode, you don't need cellular data to be disabled. So you can just sort of flick cellular data off of there. And when it's disconnected from this little pipe over here, that means this is not going to happen, whatever action this is. And so that's for when I just don't want to be bothered at night. But if I still want to receive calls, say if there's an emergency, if somebody's calling me at 2 o'clock in the morning, it better be an emergency. But say there's an emergency or I definitely want to get my texts, then I can put cellular data back on there, connect it back to the pipe, and then disconnect airplane mode. So this is a way that you can disable certain portions of either the triggers or the actions to modify it for your needs. 
Um, so say, you know, I'm on vacation, I definitely want airplane mode. Um, I'm at home, I definitely just need the cellular data to be off. This not only saves battery, energy, etc. It just, um, it also saves you from in the middle of the night, like just having a bunch of emails come in. You don't need to read those emails in the middle of the night. You don't need that data happening then. So it'll save you a little bit of data maybe. All right, so we've created our rule. Let's name it. And there we go. And so now our rule is here on the list. Now, this rule will trigger itself, you know, at 1 a.m. and it'll turn itself off at 5.30 a.m. But if you want to turn it off completely, let's like say, you know, there's some situation where you're like, I don't want my data turning off at weird times. Just, you know, you can tap the icon and that will disable this particular smart action until you tap the icon again to turn it back on. Let me show you some of the rules that I've made. Uh, just so you can get a sense of like how powerful and useful smart actions can be. So this one's called Night Radio. So it has a location attached to it, and the location is home. And I set up this location basically by you know searching for my current location. So then, and it's also a time frame at night. So this is going to trigger at starting at ten o'clock at night. Now every night at ten o'clock, I you know download my podcast for the day. I turn on the Bluetooth so that I can play my podcast through my favorite Bluetooth speaker. And then um, I, you know, set, set the brightness to go down because at night I want the brightness to be lower so that if I happen to wake up in the middle of the night and need to look at my phone, my eyes don't get blasted with light. And then um, I also disable the cellular data at night because the Wi-Fi is going to be on. So I don't need the 4G on because the Wi-Fi is on. So that's what I have going on here at night. And because of smart actions, I don't have to, you know, do as much work. Like, this is going to turn my Bluetooth on for me, and when my Bluetooth is on, it's going to connect to my speaker automatically if my speaker is on. So I turn the speaker on. It's going to launch uh, Dog Catcher, which is my podcast application, and when you launch Dog, Dog Catcher, it immediately starts to update feeds. So in a couple of minutes, I can go back, look at my phone, and say, oh, these are the feeds that downloaded tonight. Let me start playing this one. And the brightness is already set, and I don't have to worry about disabling and enabling cellular data. So that's, you know, the one that I set up and that suits my particular needs. Whatever actions you take at night, whatever things that you do on a daily basis, you can set up smart actions to, to do those. Another uh, smart action that I've created here is called morning alarm. Now, you might think, well, you know, there are tons of phones that have alarms. Like, why do you need smart actions to do this alarm? So I'm just going to show you. Basically, this uh, alarm trigger is tied to a location, which is my home. Um, it's time to tie to a time frame at um, wakey time, which I created, which starts at 6 in the morning. And it's going to launch an application, which is a public radio app, so I can listen to public radio in the morning. The reason why I created this with, um, with smart actions instead of just using regular alarm is that it is tied to when I am at home. There have been so many times when I've forgotten to turn off my alarm when I've been on vacation. It is ridiculous. And when I'm on vacation, I do not want to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Just doesn't, I don't want that to happen. So... When I'm at home, this will go off. But if I'm not at home, this alarm will not go off. The, the public radio application will not be starting at 6 in the morning and waking up people or myself when they don't want that to happen. So that's one of the, the reasons why the smart actions is, is very cool because it can not only tie it to a time, you know, certain days, etc. It can also tie it to a location so you can set things to happen when you're at home or say, you know, you um, have a partner who does not live with you, and you go over to their house. They don't want to wake up at 6 in the morning with you. Maybe you set a different alarm, a different ringtone, or something along those lines. But that's the kind of stuff that this app is um, really powerful for, which is one of the reasons why I like it. So that's the basic how-to on Smart Actions. I encourage you, if you have this app, to go in and play with some of the triggers and some of the actions, and just think about the kinds of things that you do with your phone over and over, that you could then, you know, basically put in here so you don't have to think about them so much anymore. Like I said, this, having the uh, the night radio action is really great because I don't have to think about a lot of things. All I have to do is turn on my Bluetooth speaker and then tap the, uh, the podcast I want to listen to. Those are the only two things I need to do now because everything else is done for me and I think that's really cool. So this is KT Bradford with Gotta Be Mobile doing a quick how-to on the Smart Actions app.